Penny, if you were to be a writer for one day on SpongeBob and they're like writing like the most story driven, like lore heavy. Well, okay, it's funny. It's, it's, it's weird to say lore heavy SpongeBob episode, but like they were doing like a special that like harkens back and solidifies so many pieces of the SpongeBob lore. What would you change? What would you change about the SpongeBob lore to be like canon or to be shorn up or to be like trimmed? Oh man. Um. Well, god damn. I uh I mean, really my my biggest problems with SpongeBob stem from the fact that it didn't let the first movie be the ending that it was supposed to be. Um mm -hmm. and it, you know, so I guess my gut response would be to say, you know, make the first movie the canonical ending. But like I but it is is the thing. It's still like technically it like, you know, nothing really from the movie uh has been present in the show since the move since the first movie uh at least in any way that is like more than a reference or like a background detail um mm -hmm. so you know it's clearly still canonically the ending what with the crusty crab 2 and all that um mm -hmm. god i don't know i don't know i really don't know i guess like i the thing about the thing about it is that i kind of if like the 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 way that SpongeBob constantly resets the status quo uh, is good for a show that has not lasted nearly as long as SpongeBob has. Um, yeah. I wish that they, I wish that at a certain point they would. Uh, I guess what I would do is like introduce the concept that like shit can change and like start to evolve and like actually move forward, like like. So I make it episodic as opposed to, or like make yeah. it a series as opposed to being episodic. Now, and, and okay, and, and there's like, and there's a problem with this idea because that is actively against what Steven Hillenburg's vision for the show was. But also, mm -hmm. Steven Hillenburg's vision for the show only lasted about three seasons. Um, yeah. And was intended three to end a movie. so much sooner than that. Um, and I, my, my thinking is that if you're gonna. If you're gonna go the route of milking it as much as you have, and you know, they've already <laughs> just fucking They've already done some real questionable shit in terms of like going against his wishes about the show. Um right. Just like just just give it just give it the ability to grow. Like just just let let things be established and like build on top of each other. If you're gonna keep going keep going strong let it matter you know let it like amount to something um don't don't I, I guess it just at a certain point became a little bit more disposable when it was just like we're still just doing the same shit huh there's a certain point at which the the you know the experience of you know or like the 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 formula of you know we're gonna do something new every episode starts to overlap on itself yeah and uh, and I think we we far surpassed that particular point with SpongeBob. Well, and we've also we've we've talked we talked about this last session, but like it's to the point where they're doing the same ideas now over and over again. They're just repeating ideas now because yeah, they they've really overlapped on themselves to the point where like they have to just reuse ideas for like for like not only just like concepts, full on like episode story arcs they have to reuse and like readapt into something only slightly different from its former self in order to just keep something going it's it's mm -hmm. it's literally an issue where like they're they're commissioning all these all these creatives to continue a show that is long past its prime even if it like you know quote got good again you cannot argue that it is not long pre past its prime um mm -hmm. I mean, good things have come from SpongeBob ever since the first movie. I'm not saying that SpongeBob has been only bad. I am a fan of a lot of what recent SpongeBob has had to offer. Uh, you know, I love the musical. I love, I love the the second movie. I love the sequel movie. Um, I love, uh, I love all this stuff. But like, the show was not designed to last this long, and so um, I kind of lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, it's it's just it just kind of feels like now they're putting people in a position where they kind of just ha they're like they're just forced to reuse shit just to put something on screen because because mm. the show doesn't grow 
The show does not change. The status quo is the same. So there's there's like a very limited baseline scope of what can actually be worked upon and developed into refreshing ideas. And there's no such thing as a purely original idea, but there is such thing as an idea that is fresh in execution and in context and in dynamics with each other. And if they allowed SpongeBob to grow into like new situations with different dynamics and stuff, then like that would at least, I, w I w it wouldn't solve the problem because even serialized shows still get old after a while and like need to end after a little bit, but it would, le it would at least mitigate it, you know? Like mm -hmm. the, the fun part is, if they had serialized the show a long time ago, I imagine by now it would still be about as stale as it currently is. But the fun part is, since they've spent so long doing nothing but the status quo, if they started serializing it now, it would be fresh again. Like, it, it would, it, they would be able to justify having it go on for longer to a certain extent. I mean, justify is an interesting word to use. I mean, just like they would be able to, art, I guess, like, dynamically just just you know what i'm saying they would be able to have an excuse to continue it and like like just, they would just like have something to work towards in terms of like actually keeping the show going um yeah i mean that, that goes without saying and, because they would have yeah at the point at this point they don't have a story to tell right they just have and they just they just have a store or like they have characters and they have set pieces they don't, they don't have a story to tell. right and it's interesting because uh, the more I talk about this, the more I kind of I'm kind of thinking about the fact that like these spinoffs they're doing are kind of a way to do that, um, but it's not the right way. <laughs> like like it's 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 not like like you kind it, it's really really weird because like they I feel like they have the right idea, um, mm -hmm. in a sense. No, they well they don't have the right idea. They're doing it for money. They don't have the right idea, but they're 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 approaching the right idea um mm -hmm. in the worst ways possible i think is is right. what's going on um yeah. i guess that's just a really roundabout way of saying i don't know exactly what i would do but i just kind of wish the show would either end or start to progress narratively you know there's a cycle that we seem to have in our commentary where I ask you, like, I, I throw you a yeah. softball and then you just spend like 10 minutes answering it beyond my wildest <laughs> expectations. That's, well, that's really funny because I am actually rather insecure about the ways that I answer these questions you give me. Cause like, it, it seems more of like, cause, cause like, cause I, cause it's never something like specific and like conceptually very interesting. It's more just me kind of like, I just kind of well, waffle I mean, it's, a it's... little bit because I truthfully don't, I'm not good at these like uh off the cuff answers, you know? Like like that's just not something I've ever been particularly I mean, skilled at. I guess I'm not really looking for an off the cuff answer because, you know, it, it's 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 such a vague and open question yeah. that it could be, you know, it could be resolved in, you know, one of so many ways. Uh, I, I guess, I, I you guess know, my I, problem I, is that I worry I'm just like not actually answering your question. Also, is it just me or has there not been music in this level for the past like 20 minutes? Is there There's supposed no to be music? Ocean. No music in the ocean. Damn, good point. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. I, I guess that's just uh, the way of the the way of the waves. Uh, in in I, I think you're doing okay. You, I mean, you you pretty succinctly. Well, not succinctly. The opposite, <laughs> succinctly. But uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> you pretty thoroughly answered the question. I would say you 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 gave me a fucking a thesis on what you believe where it comes from, why you believe it, and how you feel it would change, which is, again, much more than I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting, like, oh, I would, I would make, I would make, uh, I would give Spongebob a boyfriend or something, <laughs> especially because I, I did say if you were given one day, specifically. <laughs> you did, didn't you? But, <laughs> ah! You, you, you want to try, you want to try one more time? I'll give no. you, I'll give a short uh, no, answer, you give a short, no? Uh, no? wait, you, hold you on, have... wait, hold on, let me, uh, okay. I will uh, create a uh, a new character. <laughs> create, uh -huh. create a new character called yeah. uh, uh called uh Penelope Prawnfish, who's uh <laughs> who's yeah uh Sandy's new girlfriend. That's beautiful. Thank you. Cool. That's 
Rad. Give a round of applause for Penny Parker, everybody. Yay. You know, what if you, if you, if you were get, okay, this is another softball. D don't feel the need to, to, to like give a, or like a, a full explanation on this. Just give me like off the top of your head. You were giving a TED talk. What do you think you talk about? <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. I'm not good at off the top of my head answers <laughs> like that. Like this is it's like, I'm, I am not good at sudden. I'm not good at prompt conceptualization. I, I have discovered over mm. the years. It is, it is, it is a, it is a creative muscle that I've been very insecure about for the longest time because I'm not good at it. To conceptualize mm. and come up with things, I have to like, I literally, I have to spend time on it. I have to ruminate on it. I have to discuss it. It has to be like a discussion. Otherwise, it's just like, it's just bullshit, which is weird because comedically, my brain works in non sequiturs a lot of the time. I mean, like my, my, my real time fandom, uh, fucking, uh, 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 what's the word? My, my real time fandom, uh, filmography, I guess is what I'll say, even though that's definitely not the word I was going for, uh, is proof mm. of that. Like, I just, I, my brain works in non sequiturs in improv, but also, like, for conceptualization, I can't make it happen. It has to be, like, something that well, is, let's, let's, that is, Let's uh, use this time as practice. Uh, okay. What was the question? If you were given a TED Talk, what would you talk about? Uh, I would talk about, uh, 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 I would talk about the 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 devaluing of uh -huh. of animation by uh -huh. attributing it only yes. as a medium for children. All right, <laughs> that's the Very audience good. cheering at me for coming up with something. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> yes, yes, Queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm really proud of you, Penny. It was pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go into the museum. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she just. I, I don't know why that image of her. Hanging on the edge there, and then just cutting away, <laughs> like really upset me for no reason. She was, she like, she didn't want to go, and that was that was the last bastion of resistance that she had before. Oh, I she have to be SpongeBob to for this one. Whims. Uh, apparently. Damn. Which is weird because it looks like a pretty good. It, pe 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 what's your name? What's the squirrel's name? Sandy Level. Sa Sa Sandra. Cassandra. <laughs> San there she is. Cassandra. Sa Sandra Cheap. Cheap. Cassandra keeps everyone's favorite undersea otter. Wow. You know, we went from mm -hmm. fucking some of the best eldritch horror jokes <laughs> I've ever been a part of in a Let's Play to Sandra Cheap's favorite undersea otter <laughs> in this Let's Play. Well, you, you know what, Penny? You can't win them all. You can't. You can't you win can't. them all, Betty. Uh, sometimes jokes are just throwing Spaghetti at the wall and oh, seeing what sticks. Spaghetti Parker. Spaghetti. That's my name. Again, just knocking it out. Like, yeah, park I the see. That's with these like name jokes. That's the thing is, I I think it's more just like the the inclination to instead of like continuing a thought thread, uh, to just respond to it with like. Like like a closer, <laughs> like that you know, because that's like that's not yeah. that's not it that's not an energy continuing thing to say. That's that's like something you, that cl that's that stops the conversation. You throw you throw the spaghetti at the wall and I clean it up. <laughs> and you clean it up and eat it because you like I spaghetti. I clean it up and I eat it, and then I'm like, all right, stop throwing spaghetti uh, at the wall. No, you say and you keep you going. You say give like, me more, and I say I don't have any more. I'm all out of spaghetti. You've eaten the entire pot because I keep throwing it at the wall and you keep eating it. Right off the wall instead of throwing it back, it's, and then you say, so "Give me tasty. more spaghetti." Yeah, and honestly, I don't know why you're resisting it, Penny. You're so good at making spaghetti. Why don't you just Why don't you just live in it? Live in your truth. <laughs> what living? Why is there a framed picture of Sandy's bicep on the wall? Uh, why wouldn't there be? Do you have one? Uh, I don't. This is my room. Is that? Why are these all just pictures of like Sandy-related stuff? Like there's these, there's another picture of Sandy right over there. I I, I think I think ac actual answer I think it's because it's just like some of the live action stills from the show, and a lot of I them was... at this point were Sandy related, or li live action and like illustrated like painted stills from the show as you can see here, and and a lot of them were Sandy related at the time I think I that that would be my guess. There's just it's like a lot of Sandy related live action because she's like a she's a squirrel from the surface, so whenever they. They ruminate on surface things. It's like live action is like a bit because it's like it clashes with the undersea animation style of the the regular show. 
Regular I've show. Always been a regular show. The one on Nickelodeon. You. Uh, I've always me. been a fan of cross uh, cross medium inter or cross medium integration. Yeah. In in animation, which is why Chowder slaps so hard. Oh you know? yeah, Chowder is great stylistically. Yeah, and and Flapjack as well. Chowder and Flapjack always kind of secured the same like. Uh, 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 Chowder real and Chowder and Flapjack were like the. They were like the the harbingers of the animation renaissance in like a big way. Yeah, they they were they were the first like 2010s yeah, cartoons. Yeah, they they, they 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 were, were they were like they were the pre renaissance I would say because I would say the the yeah. the animation renaissance we are currently a part of I would I would say it's still going. Um, started mm -hmm. with like Adventure Time and Regular Show and uh, yeah. there was one more that generally I pull into that. I mean, I could say Gravity Falls, but that was 2012, and I think that era started more around 2010. I think Gravity Falls was like part of like a second wave of like the Renaissance, you know. Um, the Steven Universe could be an easy one. Uh, so the, you know, Steven the Universe and Gravity Falls, I would say, are probably the second wave that I, that I'm that I'm talking about. Like that that seems like a very because they were like a year apart, less than a year. Star versus the Forces of Evil is third wave then. I mean, Star vs. the Force of Evil started airing before Gravity Falls was even over, and Gravity Falls... I was gonna say Gravity Falls only lasts for two years, that's not fucking true in the slightest. It only had two seasons, which is why I wanted to say two years, but those two seasons took an eternity to come out. They, kind of, they really spread them out, they, like a, a very thin glue. <laughs> they really did, to, to the chagrin mm. of anyone who wasn't Disney. <laughs> What's up with the Disney? What are they doing? Uh, Why are they doing that? So what are you still God, I could just you say that about a lot of things, Disney, huh? Yeah. Dis you know what? Yeah, they, uh, I think they, somebody should do something about. Did you those see they guys. recently like announced? Um, or they recently they either announced it or like just made a listing for it, something like that. A uh, a Gravity Falls like side book that is like from the perspective of like Mabel and Stan or whatever. Um, and <laughs> it was not approved by worked on by or even known about by Alex Hirsch and so it was it was announced by I think it was announced through like an Amazon listing and then uh Mystery of Gravity Falls on Twitter uh posted about it and Alex Hirsch responded like what the fuck is this <laughs> it's like, what, is, what is this um that's pretty cool he just didn't Man, he just I, didn't know about it it's that's it's so wild that that people who own properties can just use those properties despite the fact that they might have not created it yeah it's great that corporate join a union <laughs> hey, everybody, please join a union yeah. thank you I'm, I'm laughing because of the 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 comedic flow of the the conversation not the actual content join a union join a union yeah no it's please Please, for the love of God! It's, it's, <laughs> wait, hang on. Wait, 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 hang on. Look over to the left a little bit. Uh, right there, that that one, right next to the sandy one, to the right. That looks like that looks like concept. Yeah. Art right oh. That's nifty. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause that's the that's the bubble missile right there. This concept. Yeah, art, and, that's and so cool. Neato. I wonder if there's other ones. Yeah, I was I was I was gonna say this this sort of this this entire like uh museum. It's kind of like a little museum for the actual art of SpongeBob, which is really yeah. interesting. It's not just like, oh, a picture of a fucking. It's like, oh, it's the Mona Lisa, but it's the fish. Yeah, I appreciate that's neat. Yeah, that's it's really really good. Um, yeah, there's definitely other pieces of concept art I would assume. What is this one? Can't yeah, see it's covered in rubble. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that. It's a pick, it's a sandy, sand, sand sand mountain. mountain. No! Ah!